I know what you thought about Zen individually, about just the way if what you've seen, what you've interacted with, and your thoughts on Zen crypto. Yeah, so I do like it. Um, and I know that people are getting hate in this community for saying that. Um, but I mean, someone said it in the chat, like I did post videos about it early on. And so I did get into it early on. And same here, like I have very little US dollars in it. Um, but it is, I like Jack. I think he's awesome. And I think that he has a lot of potential. And so kind of like how I like Richard, like I think that, any projects that Jack does, like I want to know about them. And I'm actually a part of their developer group. And so I I know Jack reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want to be a part of this? And so like, I'm a part of their- um, What's up all the hate on Twitter after this? <laughs> oh, I'm wrecked. I'm wrecked. <laughs> this is just wrecking me. They're just gonna blame it on me somehow. <laughs> they won't say anything to Jack. <laughs> Your fashion coder will move on with their lives appropriately <laughs> after this. And GRC will have grown men probably finding his phone number calling him saying i'm going going to down low with the with demons but um <laughs> we'll go ahead but go ahead please yeah and so and so i don't develop with them or anything but i'm a part of their telegram group so i get to see what they're developing which is really cool and so it's just neat to kind of like be behind the scenes so i get to see what they're doing and they're doing all these different projects um and so thankful for uh jack for like reaching out to me and asking me to be a part of that group because I think it's interesting. And so, so yeah, so, I mean, I really like Jack and so I do want to see what he has going on. What do you think? What I mean, she gets a pass. I'll continue hating on Jack. That's okay. Hey, <laughs> girls don't, girls have a hard time gaining a respect level in crypto. So we'll give it to them. on not getting all the hate level. They have to grind probably a little bit harder just to get people to, and everyone thinks you're amazingly smart now. And that's a hard journey, you know, as a woman, just because no one really knows you off. You, know, you wouldn't know your background. You're kind of just saying, but people believe you and trust you. And, and I, think an episode with you and Jack at some point away from my channel, go away somewhere over your channel or his would just be great. And I think it would be an open-minded conversation. Um, so you have been, you just keeping up with the Joneses as far as them? Like, do you just like read some of the information and just. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'll like, sometimes people will ask questions in that developer chat. And so I'll like go through and like, look at them just because, you know, I don't develop right now, which is like sad, but it's good. And so it kind of is like my fix of getting like coding in of seeing what people are doing and seeing what like the latest trends are in coding and stuff like that. How, how do you see the AI, right? Impacting coding? Is it making you way more, way faster? So I think it's going to be very interesting. I've used it to code a couple of things, nothing that I've like gotten in and actually used, but it's going to be interesting to see how schools teach coding now. Um, like because my bachelor's degree is in computer science. And so, you know, every single class, I had all these projects that I had to do that were coding. I could literally just come in here and I did it earlier today, actually. And I just typed something in and I was like, write me the code for a palindrome in C sharp. And it wrote me it like, just super quick and that you know probably would have taken me like maybe an hour or two to write like on my own <laughs> um when I was in school and so it, it's going to be crazy I don't even know the effects that it will have because it's just going to it's going to be a big impact and I don't even think any of us really know what that's going to look like but you just said like that literally to write you that thing in in C sharp or something Right. You said that would have taken you a couple hours, right? To yeah. Write that. Especially when I was just learning too. And and like you did it like that, right? So the I don't know, it's interesting. This is a hundred percent selfish personal question. If I have one application or something and I have another application or something that don't communicate, is there a way I write code or what do I need to do so that this thing, something happens here, which causes a trigger in this thing here. How would I go about approaching solving that problem? Yeah, so you would need an API. So in one of them, you would need it to be able to send out information. And then the other one, you need to be able to grab the information. So it, it's called an API typically. Um, I, you could probably do like a direct message type thing and not like direct message like, a DM on like Twitter, but like a direct message from the software to the other one. Um, but typically it would be something through an API. 
Okay, uh, that's awesome. So question for you now, I, I'm like in the process of trying to figure this out. So yeah. is if I'm like, hey, I want to figure this out. How would you or Coach 